G'day folks, Andy here from McDowell Manor. So this is another piece of garbage I scrounged up from the council run. It's a uh, barbecue frame. And you can see what I'm doing is just bunging some, the barbecue was out, thank God I didn't have to do that bit. I'm just going to belt some palings on the top. Then I'll sand and varnish them. Um, and we should have, should have ourselves a little workbench. So we'll see how that goes. I know it looks a bit funny because it sticks out one end and people would probably think, well that's not very tidy. I just think it would be more useful as a, as a bench if I leave it that length. Can't see the reason to cut the timber, to be frank. But we'll have a look and see, eh? It is, it's nailed together and sanded now. Not that you can really tell, there's little hairy bits because it's pine, I think. Meant for outdoors, uh, those are only old fence palings. But the reason I'm using them is because I'm going to leave this outdoors. <laughs> it kind of makes sense not to use dressed timber. you just got to sort of fight that urge not to be overly tidy. Just keep in mind it's a bloody workbench and not a table. Because I tell you what, I'm hankering to cut that end off. Grab my jigsaw and cut the end off so it's level with here just because that would be neater. Now I don't actually think that would suit me better as a bench. So I might ponder that for a while because I'm going to leave this out the weather a little bit before I varnish it. Uh, that should get the palings both the same colour because three of them are new and three are older. Anyway, uh, that's where we're at at the moment guys. Oh yeah, I cracked under the pressure. Knew I would. And hack the ends off this thing. Um, What's this here? I'll, so, I'll show you later. It looks neater. I'll give them that. It does look neater like you'd expect, but I don't think it's any more practical, quite frankly. My, anyway, what's done is done, eh? So all I've got to do is weather that for a while now, folks, and then we'll probably stick some varnish on the top, I imagine, just to make it last better. Um, oh, oh, <laughs> unless Rosie... Here. If Rosie hassles me, I'll probably have to paint the whole bloody thing. Because that's what Rosie tends to do. She likes things nice and neat. But we'll see what happens. There's Lawrence playing with the chickens. It's my grandson. You can see he's trying to give him a tomato leaf through the wire. The chooks are pecking at it. Funny little fella he is. He likes the chickens. He's taken to them with gusto. 